You know, Bob, sometimes I feel like we don't appreciate how great it is to live in the Great Barrier Reef, you know? I know, right? It's so cozy. And mmm, yes, mmm, colourful. Yup, whether you're a fish, a piece of coral, or a human, you've got to admit, the Great Barrier Reef is pretty, well, great. And it's the biggest reef system in the world and the only living organism visible from space. And it's home to thousands of amazing species, which is why it's on UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. World Heritage Sites? What's that? Glad you asked, my fishy friend. Well, UNESCO, or the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, has a list of places around the world that are really special because of their natural or cultural significance. The Great Barrier Reef made it on there in 1989, making all of us Aussies pretty proud. Hooray! But there's a problem. Oh no! You see, for a while now, the reef's been facing some serious threats. Pollution and overfishing have taken a toll on the underwater environment. And so have outbreaks of the crown of thorns starfish, a prickly predator which munches on coral. Then there's coral bleaching. That's when the water warms up too much, causing coral to go white. And while it can recover, if the temperature stays high for too long, the coral dies. Since 2016, there have been four mass bleaching events, which have killed a lot of coral. Gee, that's scary. Terrifying. Sure is. And in 2021, things were bad enough for UNESCO's World Heritage Center to recommend that the reef be listed as in danger. In danger? What does that mean? Well, I think it means we're in trouble. You see, UNESCO has another list of World Heritage Sites that are all in danger of losing the things that make them special. It's a list Australia definitely didn't want to be on. And return. The government was worried that being on the in danger list could have a big impact on reef tourism. So it set about trying to change UNESCO's mind. In 2022, experts came to the reef to see if things had got better. And they weren't happy with what they saw. They gave us another year to see if things improved, and our government put in some more effort, sending UNESCO reports to update them. And last week, we got some more good news. The draft decision cites, to quote the decision, significant progress being made on climate change, water quality, and sustainable fishing, all putting the reef on a stronger and more sustainable path. UNESCO decided not to list the Great Barrier Reef as in danger after all. I am very pleased to see this decision from UNESCO come out overnight. Phew, well that's a breath of fresh air. We don't breathe air. It's a figure of speech. Wait, hold your horses. That doesn't mean things are all good down at the reef. And with Australia heading into another El Nino period, many experts are worried there could be another big bleaching event on the horizon. UNESCO says it'll revisit its decision next year, which means Aussie authorities still have their work cut out for them to prove they're doing all they can to protect this natural wonder. And all of the creatures that call it home. Yeah, like us. Pretty magnificent, aren't we? Check out these fins. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. 